Who am I supposed to be talking to here? You? The child? If you require weapons, please speak with the shopkeeper. I cannot help you. Oh. Come down, newbie. Yeah, good. I hope that one guy that has the mustache is someone I can have join my party. Surely, not my party, but my kingdom. I don't think he's going to be a party member. Surely it is time for you to try making your weapon first weapon at last. Oh. You're a weapon maker. That's wonderful. Uh. Well, my training is not yet complete. My grandmother was a weapon maker, you see, and I was her apprentice until she passed away. I should find a new master, but I do not have the enthusiasm. The shopkeeper here has taken me under his wing, but in truth, I am worthless. I, I need to go and find someone that's just brimming with enthusiasm so I can steal some of it and give it to newbie. That's terrible. I understand how hard it must have been for you. But I'm sure your grandmother would have wanted you to continue your studies and become a weapon maker like her. Maybe even in my kingdom. In fact, why don't you come to my kingdom so you can do just that? I didn't think he was going to oh, say it yes. immediately. Well, well, newbie. That is an interesting offer. What do you think? Would you like to go to this kind young man's kingdom? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't you like that, newbie? Isn't that a fun thing? Yes, yes, I think I would. But there's a favor I would like to ask of you first. Slay 50 man beasts. My grandmother loved nothing more than to see her weapons used in the feet of ferocious monsters. But there is one monster she never saw beaten, though she always dreamed of it. Which reminds me, I need to go beat that dark energy monster that was by the other woods. I think it would help her rest in peace if that monster were eliminated. Mm. I'm sure that's something we can help you with. The beast is known as Magmanimus. It roams the lands near this kingdom. Please, you must see that it is defeated at last. We get a cool longsword for it. I can't believe he goes into the, like, smithing spot. That's crazy. Uh, probably should just look at a real map. There's only two more side quest people. And I don't think any of them are the guy that I would like to join me. I don't care if he does, like, nothing. I just really liked the way that one guy looked. Oh, I talked to you before. Excuse me. Excuse me, may I ask you something? I'm looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? I'm the Golden okay. Warrior. Crikey, there's a name and a half I don't think I've ever heard of before mine. Is there anything else you can tell us about this warrior character? Yes. Uh, they say he is a true leader of men and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. It is I! Blonde hair and pointy ears, eh? It reminds me you of anyone, even like my lad. Oh my goodness! Wait, that sounds like m m m me God, no. Oh, you are younger than I expected, but now that you mention it, you do match the description. I've never been called a golden warrior or anything like that. Are you sure you aren't? Golden warrior, please, please come and save us. Crikey! Crikey! She's proper pleading with you, man. Sounds to me like she's in the right pickle. Yes, right. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to help you, miss. Can you tell us the whole story from the beginning? So you will come and save us. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Ho Hoiden? Hoden? I live here in Goldpaw, in a quiet area away from all the hustle and bustle. It was always a peaceful place to live, until recently, that is. The Fire Nation attacked, you see. Now it is being terrorized by a horrible monster. What is more... Most of the adults who live there work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain. And they cannot hope to defend themselves. I was sent out to find someone, anyone, who could assist us in our hour of need. And I have found you. Please, you must come and help us. Is this just happening here in the city? What did I reckon of and I don't fancy her chances if she's waiting for that golden warrior bloke to come and help her? You're right, Lofty. Well, if there's only one thing for it, we're going to have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of it. Oh, oh, thank you. The monster always runs off after it has had its fun rampaging through our neighborhood. We believe it is lurking down in tight-fit cavern near the heartlands. All right, so it's going to be out in the open world. I was really hoping we would just walk into the monster here. Tight-fit cavern? All right, we'll go and deal with it. You wait here, Hoiden. Natural agility intelligence that can help boost work at the Explorer's Guild. She has outdoorsness. I really want to get her done so I can get the boost thing. That's going to be my active quest right now. I'll uh, still go and find the other person that has a side quest here. And then we probably just will not be doing the library at the moment. Forgive me. But I need to get the big upgrades. 
so like I think everyone named like you probably will eventually become a member of the kingdom, right? And you like obviously have a problem. I mentioned that I thought that these guys would be like side quests related. I guess they all maybe won't be part of the kingdom, but they'll definitely all just be here. Hello. Oh yes. Listen, Peachy. Becoming a truly first-rate seamstress calls for more than mere dexterity with a needle. You see, I'm, I'm just glad that we get Peachy instead of Yip Yip. Unless if we get both, then that's also okay. You see, the key to our craft is to always consider the person who will wear the item we are creating. We must keep them in mind as we sew every stitch. Yes. Yes, madam, Yip Yip. I, I actually don't even know who I'm going to get, but Peachy seems like the one that needs our help. I'll be sure to bear this in, hmm? Oh, oh my goodness! That oh. cape is garish! Is, is it- are you Evan? King Evan? Well, I go by the Golden Warrior now, but if you must, ma'am. Well, yes, but I'm really just a normal person like you. Normal, the savior of Gold Pond, normal. You are a hero and the leader of a proud young nation. Wait, this is perfect. What do you think, Peachy? This could be the perfect opportunity for you to strike out on your own. <laughs> Oh, madam, yip yip, you are absolutely correct. What luck, and what wonderful timing. Excuse me? I'm awfully sorry, but I don't need no seamstress in my kingdom. Get out of here. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Gosh. Oh, I do apologize. We were forgetting ourselves. I am yip yip, and this is Peachy. I work as a seamstress here in Goldpaw, and Peachy is my apprentice. And I have recently decided to leave madam yip yip's tutelage in order to find full-time work. Which is what we were discussing when you appeared. It is perfect, is it not? This is destiny, I'm sure of it. Is it true, King Evan? Is it true that your kingdom is in need of skilled workers? If so, then I beg of you to consider me. From darning socks to tailoring suits, I have skills aplenty. I don't know what darning is, but it's mm. probably a seamstress thing. Well, we'll always have need of new clothes, I suppose, and perhaps you could even help with my work, uh, workshop. Making armor, of course. I was gonna say sweatshop and really botch that. It would have been a funny joke. Uh, let's let's cut that part out. Uh, and perhaps you could even help with my uh, sweatshop, of course. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because it's, it's funny. Okay, we'd love to have you. Gosh. It was a funny joke. I swear it was funny. Haha, <laughs> your decisiveness is truly worthy of one of your sa station, King Evan. It is a great relief to know that my dear apprentice will be under your command. No side quests or... In that case, Your Majesty, I must ask you for the binding thread. What? The binding thread? What's that? It is a, tra a tradition here in Goldpaw for an employer to give a seamstress a skein, skein of thread to mark the commencement of her employment. The thread represents the bond between master and servant. Oh, I didn't realize this went that deep. And it is said to ensure undying loyalty. <laughs> This custom is of great importance to us, King Evan. No self-respecting seamstress would start working for a new master without a binding thread. <laughs> I, uh, I see. Yes. I would appreciate very much if the thread you gave me could be grass green in color. All right. Uh, of course, leave it to me, Peachy. I shall bring you some grass green thread right away. Wonderful, I will be waiting, awaiting your return. I don't know if I have it, but... Yo, glow-proof spring mantle. Oh, I think it tells me, actually, that I don't have it. Does it... Uh, if I go to... Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot this was a thing. And switches that can be adjusted in order to tweak a whole host of perimeters that govern how combat unfolds. Allowing you to inflict more damage on certain types of monsters to adjusting how sensitive you are to elemental damage. This is interesting. Fortunately, you won't be able to fiddle to your heart's content right away. You'll need to earn battle points in order to unlock and adjust each setting. Battle points are earned each time a party member levels up until level 50, so you'll need to throw yourself into the fray if you want to full the full range of tactic tweaker options. If you're not happy with how you've used your battle points thus far, you can always spend a few King's Gilder to reset them. See if another setup suits you better. So, I mean, that's interesting. Uh, allows you the amount of damage to inflict it. So, like, it's not going to be, like, full, easy to do. Spoil settings, though. We'll see if I'm beating enemies. I might want to adjust that. Adjust settings that will improve the entire party's abilities in battle. Can that just go up no matter what? And then 
Elemental ailment. You haven't increased the level of this setting yet, so it's still locked. Press the level up setting button to get started. God damn it. Eight battle points to increase Arts of War to level one. I need to hit the right button for this, but I don't. So I can do two at a time. Growth versus gold. Enable to increase in the amount of money or experience earned from battle. Increase the amount of money and equipment earned from battle. Rare materials or equipment. I feel like that would be better. Equipment and cash. And then, wait, what's... And I can increase other stuff? Or is this me switching? Let's go back here. So now I can... Adjust anything. Amount of damage taken when blocking... I don't block. Increases the length of time for which you're invulnerable when invading. That's good. Amount of time it takes to escape from battle. Eh. Increases the amount of MP restored by taking damage using items. Reduces the length of time it takes to charge up. Increases the damage inflicted by heavy melee attacks. And then, yeah, so I can just switch this any time I want. What was the thing with King's Gilder and... I think I did something wrong in the other menu. Yeah, okay, so this is a switch like this. So now I'm more likely to get rare items. But I don't think I'm going to get less money for that. So that should be fine. I feel like I should just level this up a lot. I'm... Just gonna level that one up a lot. This stuff seems like it would be good, especially if I'm like prepared for a certain battle type. I can just switch it whenever, right? But I um so then I can reset battle points though. So if I don't like that I upgraded this a bunch, I can just reset with money. This is interesting. I I can dig this. Untouchable. Max that out. I I feel like that's my best course of action. <laughs> Increase the length of time for which you're invulnerable. Just... Can I upgrade this more? Might as well... So then... I can get a lot of rare equipment. And then, I guess, experience would always be good. Which I probably should have done that instead. Whatever, that's that's some fun stuff. Wh why did I come in here again? To look at side quests. I got really, uh... Citizen Almanac? It just shows everyone. You get 103. This is just attributes. Vital statistics. Quests. It's right there. I wanted to see if the one. This one, Peachy, tells me where I can find this stuff. Uh, and she's looking for full time position. She's very keen of moving to Evermore. Don't I actually wait? My library, I think, has something like this, right? I thought I had something that lets me, like, see items. Leaf book. It's a lot of new leaf book stuff. After discussing the matter with Niall, we have decided to leave the dice factory as is. In case any curious visitors would like to look around. We hope it will serve to educate future generations about this deeply regrettable episode. I wonder if there is probably side quests there, too. Take a look at this photograph. Doesn't it make you want to laugh? Pinned something very special and now it's up to you to find it. The first person to track down the treasure gets to keep it. So come on, what are you waiting for? 
Oh god, okay. A lot of stuff seems to be opening up now. This is a scene that came up upon when wandering in the woods. See how the tree's roots have grown to form natural arches. Tempting to interpret explorers to pass through them and go deeper in the forest. Did I follow that trail or turn back? What do you think? A ghostly present. Where's the ghost? Tears and scares. Take a look at this photograph. A friend and I decided to test our courage and enter the cavern known as Death's Tour. Took this picture to prove we had really been there and was amazed to see the spectral presence behind us. Could it have been a real ghost? Oh, I thought that was like light. That, that looks like just weird gas. Gosh, there really is something there. That's the no ghost. Let's check out the light. Cave is known to be haunted. Yeah, that's why he said it. Oh god, I don't even know what I want to do now. Uh, we will... Fast travel there and then be able to... Let me go to Cloud Coil first. And see about finding that tree. Got, got a little bit of options. Got a lot of world opening up that's too much for me to handle. And that's not even like everything. So there's like can deal with enemies now. We probably actually do that. God damn it. Wait a minute. We can probably do that one spot that I had trouble with because I think it was like level 20, right? So if we start from the beginning, maybe we'll have better luck. I also want to head to the forest real quick to see if there's sign missions there. Since there are technically people that live there. Also, hello. Hey there. Musical Sky Pirate, what are you doing? Had a bard visit these parts not so long back with the name long in me blessed arm. But what a talent, R, I still hear them bewitching songs in my dreams at night. R, but that blessed name of his longer than me arm it was. Sin don war be happy something or other fits to bend your mind to not. You're gonna be a side quest lady. Alright, so the tree was overhanging a cliff side. I'm not gonna talk to you, mister. Do these enemies not care about me either? That'd be nice. Can I just walk by them? Without engaging? Oh, that's real nice. That'll make exploring real easy. Look at these little gremlins, don't even care. And then we can climb up this one. I'm gonna try to be careful and not immediately go into battle without knowing what level they are. Twenty-one seems reasonable. I mean, I should have quick saved when I entered the area, right? Here goes nothing. Especially now that I can evade with the best of them. The main thing, I think, is I need to make sure... I stay far away from Big Boy. Ooh! Which is easier said than done. Maybe I should just leave. How easy is this? Just see whatever's over here? Maybe it's for the best. Is this the tree that was hiding something? See, those guys are doable. Levels are like just varied enough that sometimes I can get... I'm, I'm nailing it. Is this the spot? Oh, there's a thing. Twilt it though, I can't use it. Or we're just gonna have to actually come back here some other time. I need like something that can rejuvenate. Watch your backs. I feel like coming over here was really a mistake still. Doesn't help now that I'm having a hard time escaping. I made it. Well, we have fast travel. Uh Facebook. I don't know exactly where that is, but we'll try our best to find it. We'll go to Billy Riggles, so I can escape those scary monsters that are too powerful for me to handle. I thought I'd be able to handle it. 
and then I got too spooked. I wasn't going to save until I accidentally saved. I just wanted to get my HP back up. Go! I don't see tree. Is that tree? That's tree. That might actually just be the thing right there. That was a munchy nut? I don't think that was a thing. I think we would get more of a, uh... Like, fanfare if we found the right tree. I'll switch my weapons around. Music's still getting a little spooky. Unnecessarily so. Facebook, help me again. There's like a waterfall. Where is it? Couldn't you give a little hint? What have you hidden? Tell us. God damn it, hide and go seeker. So I'm gonna say not that way. Further up. I presume. It could actually be like on these other paths, couldn't it? I don't remember where there was a waterfall. And I don't think that's gonna really help me. I think I remember there being a waterfall on one of these paths. So I might as well go up. See, this guy's scared of me too. I'm gonna mess him up. He's not gonna be able to handle me. Too powerful. I like having the strong heavy attacks. I don't see a waterfall here. But there was another path we had to do before. Watch this be really dumb and not worth it. Got some iron nuggets. I'm basically going to just try to do all the side stuff that I can and then go back to the kingdom and mess around again. Was this the other save that I was at before? No, this is where I started. Whoop. I do like that I can run through this without fighting anyone, though. Or else this would have been a bit more annoying. I really don't remember seeing the waterfall. It has to be here, though, right? Like, that picture is definitely here. Maybe I didn't see a waterfall. Maybe it was that rock and it just looked weird. Maybe it was a weird looking rock that I thought was water. Higgledy, help me up. Could have just been clouds. Oh, well, there's a waterfall. That's what I was looking for, I guess. Right, because then you go like, er, brr, it's cold. Swirly apple, probably not it. It's probably on the other side there. I mean, clearly that wouldn't be it because I can't look at the waterfall from that angle. I just, I like looking around and trying to find the hidden spots with pictures. It's a fun thing that I didn't realize I liked until Gravity Rush 2 kind of threw it at my face and I'm like, oh, that's great. Except for the times when I, uh, couldn't find it, but hey, I got a mage's ring. That's alright. I don't think there's anything else for me here. Look around quickly to see if side quests are in the area. Nope. Let's, uh, go... Sky Pirates... Base probably has side quests. I know this is definitely not the most exciting thing, but I like doing these things. It's an RPG, you gotta do the things. Hey, there's a side quest person. Oh, uh, Munako. Oh, or King Evan. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> um, I'm ever so sorry, but I can't seem to recall your name. Yeah. Well, the name's uh, 
Monaco, your majesty, and well, you see, I, uh, that is... Ugh! <sighs> D dash it all, tis no good, I just can't bring myself to say it. Oh! Wait, come back, I wonder what that was all about. Is he embarrassed about his name? I just have to find him? Go after him? Yeah, that's good. I get a heart pendant. He has a deep love of the land that will give me fruits. Uh, I'm hoping he's just here. And I made it my active quest, so now it's the one marked. So I might as well do it. Uh, I don't see any other side quests besides him, but that might be because of the layer of the map I was on. When did Sigildy show up? Oh. Maybe going funny in the head, but I could swear I heard some funny noises coming from around here. Iggle, Iggle, or some such. Just hanging out. Alright, I'm gonna catch him. He's gonna fall. He can't escape now. Is, is he just gonna ask me if... That's the mission is the Shy Pirate. He's gonna ask if he can join my kingdom, and that's gonna be the <sighs> end of it. King Evan, what are you... Did you follow me here? As a matter of fact, I did. I was worried about you after you ran off like that, so I decided to come and see what was wrong. Y you were worried about me? Yes. Yes, it seems as if you had something you wanted to go off, get off your chest. If you don't mind telling me, I'm happy to listen. I is that so now? Hard, then I suppose I might... Run away? <sighs> God, what am I saying? There ain't no way I can ask such a thing. I go right as a blessed beetroot. He ran off again, right when he was about to tell us what was wrong. We better go after him. This is a silly quest. I can appreciate silly quests. Where's that child going? I like your hat, child. That's a really weird way to run, but the hat's nice. I just have to go up. And then I can see if there's more side quests. This is why I want to go to the forest, though, since it technically was like a village, right? The forest was technically a place. There's probably leaf people that want to join my party. You tracked me down again? Do you mean to chase me to the end of the world? Curse you. I am glad that there's waypoints here. It'd be a little bit annoying doing this quest without... Uh, having those. I mean to chase you until you tell me what's wrong. If you don't want to make me curious, you shouldn't keep running off like that. Mm, well, you see, the truth is... Yes? I was wondering if you might see your way to allowing me to, well... What? Allowing you to what? Oh, there he goes. No, 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 I can't. I can't just... I'm a lily-livered, yellow-bellied coward, and there ain't no remedy for it. Leave me be, Kirsty. Hmm. Where's he going now? I can't just let him go. I have to find out what's bothering him. Does... Not this one. The, um... I screwed up. This menu shows me my, my King Gilder, but it doesn't really tell me how much is... my max. I need to maybe keep track of that myself. Obviously, it would be a good idea to just upgrade how much I can max out, so I don't have to go back so often. Hi. All right, Monokau, this is it. No more running away. I wish Tani was kind of in all these cutscenes. Or dialogue things. Miss Tani, don't tell me you're after me as well. Girl, I know better than to try and run from one so fierce as yourself. Seems the jig is up. Please, Monokau, will you just tell me what's on your mind? We just want to know what you wanted to ask, that's all. All right, all right, Kirstie, I'll come clean. Yeah. Too right, you will. Come on, spit it out. Well, the truth is, I want to ask if you might permit me too well to... To what, Monokau? So... It's always been a dream of mine, you see, to, to grow the prettiest little vegetable patches in all the world. Hmm? A vegetable patch? Oi. Aye, the very same. I hope I have one of those for you. Say, so ain't blessed with some of uh, the talents of my fellow Sky Pirates. Not the flying skills of Kumbush, nor the brawn of Chingus, neither. As a Sky Pirate, I'm a third-rate swab at best, and since I can't be of much use here, thought I might do a little something to help you get a new kingdom there instead. And well, what with me dream and all, I thought I might kill two birds with one stone, as it were. So you want to come and grow vegetables for us? Or exactly, I thought if I could grow a few turnips and the like, It'd be a fine way of making myself useful. Mm. That'd be wonderful. Come and grow as many vegetables as you like. Thank you very much. You truly mean it, your majesty. Oh, you've made an old pirate happy, so you have. 
I'll uh, away and start digging right in this minute. I'll pour me heart and soul into that there soil. You'll see. Like, I know it definitely would have made more sense for me to start upgrading... Or, like, making the spots of land when I needed them. But it seems fine to just have them, right? I don't think there's anything bad for me just throwing them out there. <laughs> 